Hello everybody, Melinda Pollan, Brown County 4-H Youth Development Educator, and today is our Monday's Motivation STEM Style video. Uh, you might know that June is a special month. June is uh, Dairy Month, and so this week on our Monday and our Thursday video, we're going to focus on some dairy products and some dairy learning. Um, and I absolutely adore cheese. I could eat it all of the time. In fact, I do. Um, and I love ice cream, all of the things, sour cream, cream cheese, all of those things that are made with dairy products. Um, and so today, the challenge that we have for you isn't, a, again, not a making or doing, but a thinking one. Uh, I am going to uh, show you a video that one of my coworkers in the natural education resources uh, field has put together, Whitney Presby. She shared with us a video uh, earlier as well. This is a tour of one of our local dairy operations, Brickstead Dairy. So you'll meet Dan Brick. Uh, one of the farmers and a couple of his uh, his co-workers and helpers on the farm and you get to see how cows are raised, how they are milked, and how they are taken great care of. While you are watching the video, here is the challenge that I have for you. I want you to be really thinking about all of the different science, technology, engineering that goes in to how we take care of our animals. I want you to think about all of the different careers that exist uh, in the farming industry and at Brickstead Dairy. Um, it's way bigger than we think it is and so this is our opportunity to think bigger and broader um, and I'm excited that I'm going to uh, introduce the video for you. Here we go. Well, welcome everybody. This is uh, I'm Dan Brick from Brickstead Dairy. Um, we're here today to give it a little bit of a virtual tour of our dairy and uh, how we make things work here on the dairy farm. So we are right now. We are in the freestyle barn. What we call the freestyle barn. It's because the cows can go lay down. They can come up and eat, and we, we call it a freestyle barn because they're free to do whatever they want to do. Uh, some features that we have here in the barn is to help to keep the cows cool in summertime is that uh, we have fans that, that go over the top of the cows, help blow the air, keep the air, air moving throughout the barn throughout the day. Also, we have sprinkler systems that go on the cow and give the cows a bath and a little bit of a shower to help keep them cool uh, that way also. So the other thing is, uh, you know, other neat features, the cows love the brush. Um, anytime they have an opportunity to go to the, the brush, will rub their back and uh, help scratch them. They have a scratch factor on their back and, uh, and uh, they, they play with that um, in the free time when they're not laying down or eating. Uh, on average, the cow will lay down for 14 hours. Our cows sleep on fresh sand, and every day, three times a day, their beds are cleaned, and essentially they're set just like ours are at home. Each cow on our farm is given a, a number, and that's how we are able to identify them, to keep proper records of them all throughout their life, so that way we can monitor for health purposes and milk production. Welcome to Brickstead Dairy's Feed Center, where this is kind of our kitchen. Um, this is their main ingredient, which is corn silage that is being planted as we speak and then it, it will be fermented and we feed it throughout the winter and spring and summer. So a cow will eat about 60 pounds of feed every day and then we'll consume about a bathtub of water a day. 14 times a day we come through and we push all the feed up for the cows. So it just kind of um, makes sure that they can reach all the feed that they have um, here and also it helps entice them to, to want to eat a little bit more because um, it helps keep it more fresh. Um, three times a day, they get walked down to the milking parlor and we, we milk each cow, um, gets milked every eight hours. And in that process, the cows are brought in, they are stripped to check for any infection in their udder, then they are, their teeth are cleaned and sanitized and dried, and then the unit is placed on for approximately five minutes. And after that, the uh, machine will come off automatically with using our technology we have here. It is cooled down immediately after leaving the cow and it sits in our bulk tanks. And every 15 hours on 
milk truck comes and picks it up and it will go to a local milk plant in Jakir or Wyoweka to be processed and made into some of your favorite dairy products like milk, chocolate milk, and cheese. Again, what a great video. How awesome to see the virtual tour of our dairy farm and all that goes into making a milk so that we can drink it at home, eat ice cream at home, eat cheese at home. I hope you saw a couple of careers there and here's your challenge for the day. What I'd love for you to do is in the comment section on our Facebook page, write down a career that maybe you hadn't thought about or uh, a way that technology was being used in our dairy farming operations that you hadn't thought about before. Comment in that section, let me know what you think, um, and I will respond with a couple of comments and questions as well. Thank you all so much for joining us and have a great day.